Hey there, do you have trouble understanding radioactive decay? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, you'll learn about radioactive decay and its three particle products. The alpha particle production, the beta particle production, and the gamma ray production. Along with positron production and electron capture. First of all, what is radioactive decay? Well, radioactive decay is a spontaneous decomposition of the nucleus in order to form another nucleus. In more simpler terms, it is a process when an unstable nucleus ejects a piece of itself in order to become more stable. One of the most common products is the alpha particle, which is a helium atom made up of two protons and two neutrons. It looks like this. Another common product is the beta particle, which is a fast-moving electron. When the beta particle is emitted from the nucleus, the atomic mass number remains unchanged, but the atomic number increases by one. It looks like this. The antiparticle of a beta particle can also be a product of radioactive decay. This product is called the positron. It has the same mass as an electron, but has the opposite charge. It looks like this. The next electron product is the gamma ray, which is the most complicated to understand conceptually, but the easiest to figure out in an equation. A gamma ray is a highly energetic photon emitted from an unstable nucleus. Since they are electromagnetic rays, they have no charge or mass. Relating to this, electron capture is when a negatively charged inner orbital electron is captured by the positively charged nucleus. The result is that a proton will combine with this electron and a neutron is formed. This process will reduce the atomic number by one and will not change the atom's mass. Now that we've covered the basics, it's time for review. Try to answer these five questions. Rewatch the video if you need to. Created using Paltoon.